Early today, the Inspector General at the Department of Justice released a stunning report. It found that the Federal Bureau of Prisons had failed to negotiate with the prison guard union for more than 20 months. Think of that. The management of the Federal Bureau of Prisons failed to negotiate with the prison guard union for more than 20 months. This has led to a delay of more than 30 critical Bureau of Prison policies to help protect their staff and inmates. That report was published just days after an investigation by the Associated Press, which concluded that the Bureau is, quote, a hotbed of abuse, graft, and corruption, and has turned a blind eye to employees accused of misconduct. Both investigations confirm what we've known for a long time. The current director of the Bureau of Prisons, Michael Carvajal, should no longer lead the Bureau of Prisons. This morning, I publicly called on the Attorney General, Merrick Garland, to replace Mr. Carvajal with a reform-minded director who's not a product of that Bureau's democracy, bureaucracy. Since Director Carvajal was appointed by former Attorney General Bill Barr in February 2020, we have witnessed a series of cascading failures that have endangered the lives of BOP inmates as well as the or correctional officers who work there. Director Carvajal has failed to resolve chronic staffing shortages at the Bureau. He has failed to contain outbreaks of COVID-19 within our prisons. The infection rate, COVID-19 infection rate in Bureau prisons, six times what it is in the rest of the population. He has failed to fully implement the reforms that the members of this Senate enacted, including an overwhelmingly bipartisan First Step Act signed into law by President Trump. To take one example, under the First Step Act, low-risk inmates are eligible to earn time credits, reducing their sentences. They do this by completing programs designed to prevent them from committing another crime when they're released. The Inspector General concluded that the Bureau of Prisons has not allowed any, any time credits to be awarded because they have not finalized the policy nearly three years after the First Step Act was signed into law. That act was a bipartisan measure. Senator Grassley and I were the lead sponsors on it. And it was a measure, as I mentioned, signed by President Trump. For three years, the Bureau of Prisons has done little or nothing to implement it. Director Carvajal has also failed to prevent serious misconduct by his own employees. Some of these numbers are incredible. Since 2019, more than 100 federal prison workers have been arrested, charged, or convicted of crimes including sexual abuse, murder, and introducing contraband into prison. Altogether, these crimes account for two-thirds, let me say it again, two-thirds of criminal cases against Department of Justice personnel, even though BOP employees comprise less than a third of the DOJ's workforce. There is no excuse for any further delay in dismissing Director Carvajal. It is time for Attorney General Garland to appoint new leadership to the Bureau that will address the crises that he has created or allowed to exist and to take critical steps to reform our federal prison system. Madam President, I yield the floor and suggest the absence of a quorum.